What's going on guys, it's FPL Penguin here. Hope you're all doing good. In today's video, we're going to be talking about buy hold sells going into game week 21. So starting with the first player, it's on the buy list, the buy section. Uh, and that is March, Solly March. Since game week 17, 44 points in total, 4 goals, 2 assists and 9 bonus points. He's currently owned, as I'm talking to you guys now, just over 4%. Only 4% still, guys. And he's very cheap as well. Same price bracket as Almiron. Why have you guys not got him? Why have you guys still got Salah? Why have you still got KDB? Go for March. He's a differential. He's a mega differential. He's, he's a super elite differential. Um, I'm hyping this guy up. He's looking great. He's looking class. Um, like I said, those stats since the restart, he has been on fire. Uh, he's got Leicester next, then Bournemouth, then Palace. Boom, go for him. Go for him now, especially while he's that low in ownership. He'll boost you up in the ranks for sure. Definitely, guys, look at him. He's definitely on the buy section. Next one list, we're moving on to the hold section. And he's owned by well over 30%. It is Metro. He's got Spurs next, Chelsea and Forest. A lot of people debate where to get rid of him. But I'd say keep him. Spurs are looking great defensively. Fulham. Looking very, very tight. Very hard to break down. And, uh, you know, Chelsea, they're conceding goals. Still still trying to find the rhythm. Got a lot of defensive worries, injuries at the minute. And Potter's still trying to keep his job. It's looking like, you know, he could lose his job. He's on a tightrope at the moment. Forrest, Dean Henderson announced at the minute they could be a bit dodgy at the back. Uh, not as uh, getting the many clean sheets. So I think if you've got Mitro, hold him for the next two to three games, definitely. Ignore these so-called bigger teams they're playing against. They can compete. They can compete with these teams like Spurs and Chelsea. Keep Mitro. Right, I'm going to throw two on this now, guys. This is the sell section. Both play for one club, and that's Manchester City. Cancelo and Kevin De Bruyne. Cancelo's owned by just over 40%. Kevin De Bruyne just over, well over 30%. Why? Why have you still got these guys? Forget how good players they were in the past. Well, they're still good players, but they're not. The moment the form has fizzled out quite a bit. City aren't dominating teams, smashing them, as as we're seeing at the, at the moment. All these players aren't really firing as such. Uh, Haaland's form has kind of fizzled out a bit. He's just getting a goal every so often. So, Kevin De Bruyne, too much money. Like I was talking about in March, get rid of Kevin De Bruyne. Get someone like March in. And because look at the form since the restart, he has not been firing as such. He's got an assist against Manchester United. That's always gotten like game 17. And look at Kinsella as well. Look at this, guys, from Kinsella. Look at this on the screen. Really? Why you guys, nearly half of the game, have still got Kinsella? Why? And for his price bracket as well. Why, guys? Forget how good of a player he is, was, whatever. Get rid of him. He's not informed. Seven, same as Kevin De Bruyne. So that is it, guys. Buy, hold, sell. Boom. 